I'm Stuart Brown, I'm a drummer and I create live audiovisual drum triggering performances under the name Mind Moth. I'm Steve Curtis, I'm a creative coder and new media artist. Like Stu, I'm a drummer and this has played a large role in shaping the direction of my visual work. Over recent years, I've been attempting to reimagine percussion as a user interface or a medium to explore reactive sound and visual experiments. Convergence is our first collaborative piece of work and it premiered this year at the Edinburgh Festival of Sound in February. And it's the culmination of work that I've been developing as part of Sound and Music's New Voices programme. I first met Steve at his degree show at Glasgow School of Art in 2019 and he was showcasing his project Velocity which allowed the public to interact with generative visual projections through the use of percussion. I became really interested in how Steve and I could join forces and use his coding skills and visual approach in combination with my drumming and the existing work that I'd done with Mindmoth to develop something even more expressive and organic in terms of audiovisual drumming performance. With Convergence, we wanted to try and really challenge the traditional preconceptions about the drum kit, turning it into a complete multimedia performance tool and using improvised drumming as a means of painting with electronic sound and visuals in real time. We were keen to kind of blur the line a little bit between the acoustic and electronic or organic and synthetic elements of the performance, partly mirroring the way we see this happening with human tech interaction in everyday life. My setup is based around Ableton Live software and Rowan drum triggers, which allow me to trigger and manipulate electronic sounds and visuals in real time. I also have contact mics on all parts of the drum kit, and those let me process the acoustic sound of the drums through digital effects. In the case of the Convergence project, I'm also sending out MIDI and audio data from my laptop to Steve's laptop, and he uses a software called Processing to interpret that information and convert it into generative reactive visuals. Those are then projected onto two large mesh screens which are placed in front of the drums. The performance begins with very free-flowing improvised drumming, semi-acoustic sounds and very soft organic visuals. But as the performance develops, the drumming style, the electronic elements and the visuals all become more digital and synthetic, eventually leading up to a kind of audio-visual digital meltdown. What's really interesting for me as a performer is that once you add these extra layers of electronics and visuals, not only are you able to manipulate those with your playing, but they also feed back into what you choose to play and it becomes then a lot more like playing with other musicians or performers on stage, the only difference being that in this case the performer is a laptop. 